Gyro Ether helmet provides cyclists of all disciplines with a first-class, performance-focused experience, topped off by the added reassurance of MIPS spherical slip lane technology. The Gyro Ether MIPS offers great ventilation and keeps safety as a priority through its MIPS system. Instead of putting a MIPS lining on the inside of the helmet, as is often the case, the Gyro Ether MIPS has a dual layer EPS foam structure, which moves independently and enables protection from a wide range of impact energies. This design should not only improve fit but a lack of an additional MIPS lining contributes to the ventilation performance with a brand saying the helmet is 2 degrees Fahrenheit cooler than other gyro road bike helmets, such as the SIN MIPS Dub Spherical. This in-house developed proprietary version of the Swedish developed MIPS system promises unobtrusive levels of comfort, performance, ventilation and safety. POC helmets have always divided opinions in terms of looks but when it comes to comfort, ventilation and a focus on safety, the brand has often been industry leading. The POC Ventral was the first to implement the brand spin technology. The helmet lining pads are constructed from a material which can roll and shear to reduce rotational impacts. Like other aero helmets, POC uses the Venturi design theory to improve airflow and ventilation over and inside the helmet, respectively. A fore and aft sliding spar, combined with a rotating dial also ensure an excellent fit. The brand also sticks to its AVIP attention, visibility, interaction, protection mantra by offering the helmet in an array of eye-catching colors. Laser Century MIPS has bragging rights when it comes to safety. The industry's best known independent testing facility, Virginia Tech, has rated this helmet the safest road helmet and the second safest of all in its star evaluation system. To quote Virginia Tech, the testing evaluates a helmet's ability to reduce linear acceleration and rotational velocity of the head resulting from a range of impacts a cyclist might experience. With a further eye on safety, the helmet features an inbuilt rear LED light to keep you visible on the road. In addition, this well-ventilated road bike helmet offers twist cap, a removable cover that allows a switch between greater aero efficiency and increased ventilation, though this is still by no means an aero helmet. These come at a weight penalty of approximately 100 grams, increasing the overall weight of the helmet by a third, compared to its quoted weight of 285 grams for a small. When it comes to safety, the Century is second to none, but in cycling performance terms, the Century is better by many in this list, with Laser itself offering the Genesis Lightweight Helmet and Bullet Arrow Helmet, both of which have been seen on the heads of Jumbo Visma riders. over five years ago and worn by Team Sky to victory in the biggest races in the sport, the fact that the same design is still being worn by the now named Team Enios without a design update speaks volumes for this helmet. One of the first Emmy Aero road bike helmets available, the Cask Patone offers decent ventilation in all but the hottest conditions while claiming to retain the benefits of an Aero helmet. At 251 grams for a size medium, the cask Proton is fairly competitive in the weight stakes too and the rotating tension dial to the rear should offer a secure fit for a variety of head shapes and sizes. Bottom line. The cask Proton helmet is an excellent choice for an everyday road helmet that is also aerodynamic. Designed in collaboration with Team Sky, this helmet provides safety, aero and comfort all in one. All this comes with a hefty price tag, but if you want to lower your drag coefficient and stay cool, this might be the helmet for you. Specialized developed its second iteration of the highly ventilated Prevail with direct feedback from pro riders, which at the time included the likes of Alberto Contador who knows a thing or two about racing in hot mountain stages. In Specialized's own words, Angie is a patented, 
helmet-mounted sensor that measures the forces transmitted to your helmet during a crash, as well as the harmful rotational forces that occur during crashes when your helmet doesn't actually impact the ground. And he works alongside specialized ride app on your smartphone iPhone EOS 10 or later, Android 7 or later. The NG unit has a lifetime subscription to the app, communicating via Bluetooth. The ride app has to be open for NG to work. Although the Prevail is by no means an aero helmet, a lower sitting design improved aerodynamics over its predecessor, plus the additional safety features of MIPS and NG are welcomed. Like the S-Works Evade, there is a limited color choice compared to other helmets on the market but with frequently added limited edition designs, there should be something out there for most. Specialized S-Works Prevail 2 with NG Helmet is a lightweight and well-ventilated option that comes with the MIPS safety system and a crash detection sensor which, when linked to a smartphone, can tell your emergency contacts that you're in need of help. Using carbon fiber in the construction of the Trenta 3K Carbon, MET says it was able to reduce the amount of EPS. Without affecting the capacity of the helmet to absorb energy the reduction in size also contributes to a low profile when worn and is a key aspect in the aerodynamic performance of the helmet. Other brands often focus on out and out aerodynamics for maximum ventilation and rarely strike the balance between the two well. MET achieves this through a semi-aero helmet that is as at home in a bunch sprint as it is in the high mountains. The Trenta 3K Carbon's cooling is linked closely to its aero performance. They're both based on airflow, after all. The design features large vents at the front, deep internal channeling and what's called a NACA vent towards the top the one that runs horizontally and looks like a coin slot. It's something that NET uses in other helmets like the Strail and the Reveal. The Trenta 3K scores a win on the comfort front as well, at least, assuming you've got a reasonably ovoid head. That low weight is basically unnoticeable even after 3 or 4 hours in the saddle, there's ample padding, and the retention system is not only refreshingly minimal, but also highly customizable. Scott says the Cadence Plus is one of the fastest and aerodynamic helmets in its class. Combine this with MIPS, a great fit and the additional option of blocking the front vents with bungs if the temperatures are cold, and you e got a top-level aero lid. Ecstatic pads lining the helmet feature antimicrobial and anti-odor technology to keep things fresh on the inside but the Cadence Plus is let down slightly by its weight and a limited color choice. The Cadence Plus is Scott Aero Road Helmet Solution. Its polycarbonate shell completely covers the vulnerable EPS core, apart from inside the vents, and its smooth, elongated shape and mostly enclosed shell look purposeful. Five generous front vents align with wide internal channels, there are another small vent above each temple and three angular exhaust ports at the rear. The MIPS cradle is extensively perforated to maximize cooling, which is important since it's in direct contact with the head. Mitch Elton Scott Simon Yeats also used the helmet last season during his Vuelta a Espa victory. Bontrager launched its wave cell range of helmets in early 2019 with a bang, claiming the most advanced helmet technology ever designed and the biggest change to cycling in years. Wave cell looks to reduce the impact of rotational forces experienced in certain crash scenarios as per MIPS and spin technology. The wave cell cell walls crumple, glide and tear and work in conjunction with a reduced amount of EPS foam in the outer shell. It is said to offer 48 times more protection against concussion. Independent lab tests from Virginia Tech don't quite come up with the same results, but the Bontrager wave cell is still one of the safest on the market, without compromising on aerodynamics or comfort. The XXX wave cell is extremely well finished, the hard plastic outer shell completely and neatly covering the lower face of the helmet. The seven forward and four rear facing vents keep your head cool, the minimalist antimicrobial padding is very comfortable, and the vertical adjustment and rear blow dial deliver precise adjustability. The aero-specific Bontrager XXX wave cell tops the brand wave cell range and has been worn by Trek Sega Fredo riders this season.
the specialized S-Works Evade 2 helmet, which was released ahead of the 2018 cycling season, has already undergone an overhaul with the introduction of MIPS and a new system called NG Angular and G-Force Indicator. Specialized say it's Evade 2 is the fastest road helmet on the market, it also a helmet that gives riders peace of mind. If you crash, the NG sensor embedded in the helmet harness texts phone contacts you choose. It also syncs with specialized app and Strava for GPS-based activity tracking. Alongside aero and ventilation performance, the S-Works Evade offers extra safety features, too. A new MIPS multi-directional impact protection system liner adds additional safety without restricting ventilation, and specialized proprietary NG Angular and G-Force indicator system sends an alert to a pre-programmed phone number to notify of an impact and location in the case of lost consciousness. If you've really got to have an aero helmet, the new Evade is as comfortable, ventilated and sleek as they come, and rather than just safe for races, it offers everyday comfort. While not a massive update, it's enough to ensure the Evade sits near the top of the aero helmet pile. And if you needed any more persuasion, Peter Sagan Borhans Grill has worn an S-Works Evade during two of his world championship wins, his tour of Flanders and Paris through bikes victories and countless other victories and podiums. The Abyss Air Breaker is the company's top-of-the-line road helmet, claiming to be both well-vented but also boasting important aero tech. The Air Breaker is a fairly classically styled helmet with some of the design cues being reminiscent of the pre-70s leather hairnet helmets, albeit with the added protection of modern construction techniques. Developed in conjunction with Move Star Team and worn by Alejandro Valverde to his World Championships road race victory, the Abyss Air Breaker is a lightweight, well-ventilated helmet, offered in 10 different color options. The padding system is kept in place through two plastic screws, enabling the pads to be removed for cleaning, plus the absence of multiple Velcro pads likely contributes to the low weight. Abyss claims the air breaker offers the best possible aerodynamics with optimal ventilation. It certainly feels fast, the quiet and close-fitting nature check enough boxes that there might be some truth in the claims. The air breaker is a completely different design to the aero-specific Abyss game changer. But there are a few cues, alongside the obvious quality and construction shared between the two helmets. It's just a shame Abbas didn't integrate MIPS into the helmet.